Hello everyone. Today I will be showcasing an integration between Amazon Relational Database Service and AWS Secrets Manager. In this video, I'll talk about how the integration works and show a short demo of the integration. Lastly, I'll show an IAM policy which restricts a user's ability to create an RDS instance unless RDS and Secrets Manager are used to manage the master user password. Let's start off by talking a little bit about this integration. This integration allows you to streamline how you manage your master user password for your RDS database instances. RDS fully manages the master user password and stores it in AWS Secrets Manager whenever your RDS instance is created, modified, or restored. This feature supports the entire lifecycle maintenance for your RDS master user password, including regular and automatic password rotations. This removes the need for you to manage rotations using Lambda functions. When using this integration, the password is not visible to operators throughout the creation process. Lastly, AWS Secrets Manager will encrypt your secret with either a KMS Customer Managed Key or a KMS Managed Key. Let's head over to the console and see this integration in action. We will start by navigating to the RDS console to look at our database configuration. When I get to my database, I can see that it is not publicly accessible. Moving over to the configuration tab, I can see some information about the master username and password. If I select modify, I have the option to select manage master credentials in AWS Secrets Manager, auto generate a new password, or change the master password manually. I'll hold off on making changes right now and first demonstrate the current state of the database. To do this, I will use an EC2 instance to connect to my database. Within the EC2 console, I'll use Systems Manager to connect to my EC2 instance. For those who are not aware, Systems Manager Session Manager allows you to access an EC2 instance without having to manage SSH keys. Now that I am connected to the EC2 instance, I'll first show you the script I am using to connect to my database. As you can see, I have hard-coded some credentials in the script. We will remove these later, as hard-coding credentials is not a best practice. This is purely for demonstration purposes. Now I'll run the script, connect to the database, and run a SQL query against that database. Now we'll go back to the RDS console to see how Secrets Manager can be used instead of hard-coded credentials. I'll select my database and then navigate back to the configuration page we saw earlier. This time, I'll allow RDS to manage the credentials in AWS Secrets Manager. I'll leave the encryption key as default, but I could choose my own customer-managed KMS key at this point if I would like. Please note, if you do this, whatever entity that needs permissions to access the database will also need permissions to use the customer managed key specified. I'll then modify the database and wait for the password to update. If I go back to the configuration page, in the password field, I can see that there is an ARN that corresponds to the secret that RDS created. To see more information about the secret, I'll select Manage in Secrets Manager. We can see at the top that there is a notice that the secret has been created by RDS. We'll also see some useful information added in the tags by RDS. By default, secrets created by RDS will have a rotation schedule of seven days. However, we can rotate it immediately if we wish. Now that the secret value has changed, I will go back to my script to test the password. When I run the command, I'll see that access has been denied. I'll now need to run a new script in order to retrieve the secret value from AWS Secrets Manager in order to connect to my database. Let's take a look at the new script that I used to connect to the database. You can see that I first retrieved the secret using the secret ID from AWS Secrets Manager. 
Then you can see I use the username and password stored in that secret to avoid the use of hard-coded credentials. Now I'll run the new script to connect to the database while using the Secrets Manager secret. I'll list the tables and then run a SQL query against the one that is returned. Now let's go back to the Secrets Manager console so we can test the Manage Rotation feature. Note that in this case, there is no customer managed Lambda function to worry about, which simplifies the configuration of the rotation. I'll first retrieve the secret value to show the current state. We can see the password here listed below. Next, I'll click the Rotate Secret Immediately button. I'll wait for the rotation to complete and see that the value has changed. Without having to change anything on the client side, I will still be able to connect to the database. I've now successfully rotated my database credentials. One last time, I'll run the script to connect to the database to make sure rotation has not caused any issues. Next, let's take a look at how you can prevent certain principles from creating an RDS database when they use a manually entered password. For this exercise, I'll navigate to the IAM console. First, we'll take a look at an example policy. We can see we have an explicit deny if the condition key RDS manage master user password is false. This will make it so that this principle will not be able to create an RDS database unless RDS manages the password with Secrets Manager. First, I will try to leave all the settings as default and create the database without storing the password in Secrets Manager. As expected, I will not be able to create the database as I am denied explicitly by an identity-based policy, which we saw before. If I go back up and adjust my configuration to use the Secrets Manager managed password, the creation will now succeed. To recap, we started with a database which was created with manually entered credentials, and then we adjusted the configuration to allow RDS to manage the master user password in Secrets Manager. We rotated the credentials using AWS Secrets Manager and connected to the database without having to adjust anything on the client side. Lastly, we restricted a principal's ability to create an RDS instance unless they use this feature. If you would like to learn more about RDS or Secrets Manager, please see the AWS documentation linked below.